here at the 2014 Pro League. Down here in the bottom right, the pink Protoss from Samsung Galaxy Con. It is Stork. And his opponent to the top left in red, the ultimate weapon for KT Rolster is Flash. Some people think that he was a weapon designed by the telecom company. It's not actually human. It's completely robotic. Daisuke? Uh, I don't know, man. Sounds like Japanese. Yeah, I think it is. Ski is to like someone, like to to really, you know, like someone, um, you know, like you're attracted to someone or you you like have feelings for them. I guess is the best way to say it. I guess. Um, so Daisuke could be like I really like you because that Dai, that Hanja at least is you know big yeah. or many, depending on which one. You and I, with our like little pieces of Asian language experience, <laughs> we're like piecing it all together. <laughs> it's like Japanese and Korean. We could both be totally wrong, but uh, yeah, that's just my guess. <laughs> it's, it's our could guess. just be like a company that Flash likes or something. We're like, oh, <laughs> yeah. Um, they have not played each other in nearly two years. It's been 626 days. Since that the last is time insane, I played. stat, man. I think Flash? I did say before that I wasn't. I didn't see it. I didn't catch it right away. But I saw two zero. I think it was Flash. Yeah, was Flash over him. is two zero over him. That's Flash. Just pretty much has a winning record over every single StarCraft one player that he's ever played against. Though, uh, yeah. If you look back, I mean, when you have that many won games over that many lost games, that good of a record, it's kind of hard to have a losing record he's, against anyone. He's almost won three times as many games as he's lost. Yeah, he's almost there. And, and we're like near, and it's nearing 400 games. Like, this is not just, oh yeah, he, you know, he won, uh, he won 12 and lost like three. It's like, no, this is a lot of games he's played. So this scout will come in here, and see that he's dealing with uh, the Reaper expand. It's not going to be a CC first. Flash loves his CC first, but not what he's doing today. Yeah, Flash also loves this build, Reaper. Quick Reaper coming out here. He's going to be able to get the quick scout. Yeah, he's not doing the Reactor Reaper variation, which we have seen him do from time to time to really be careful about his scouting. I feel like that build is not the most resource efficient, so that's kind of the way Flash likes to do things. And uh, that's, Stork. that's Stork. Yeah, he says he's handsome. And awesome, I guess, as <laughs> also said. He's like good looking and handsome and really cool. Yeah. Well, that. Um, SCV was considering doing a eBay block, it looks like, but decided against it. The Reaper wants to identify the third pile on location, but the this map is really hard to um, get in there and get behind the minerals, especially against somebody like Stork, who's set up such a great building wall. If you get back there, there's no coming out. There's a lot of surface area to, to bounce up, but once you get into the, co the heart of the main, it's really difficult to get out. Yeah, very big main. Do you have another barracks going down after the CC goes down? Yeah, and a fast eBay. I think Flash is going to be playing a little bit more Pult esque here, trying to get a fast plus one and being aggressive to stop any sort of attacks that may come his way. I wonder, did he see the Nexus? He did not. He doesn't know the timing of the Nexus. He even queues up a Reaper uh, as a response. He really wants to know. And I like that, actually. Yeah. Unfortunately, sometimes you can lose your Reaper like that, and uh, instead of being like, oh, well, I'm not exactly sure, but we'll just play it out, he's like, no, I need to know exactly what's happening and, and the he's reaper, responding with that the reaper is useful even if all the re the reaper does is go over and see a nexus and then he just keeps it alive then he can later on see if there's any tech in the main base that's being added with the reaper instead of scanning because scanning just slows down your mineral mining so much it's about 270 minerals that you're going to have much slower uh, than you would have otherwise yep. think of it like you you're losing a super scv for for a while yeah you don't want to use scans unless you really have to this unfortunate SCV might go down here. Yep, it does. That's the worst the worst feeling ever is SCV, like, just starting to, to get to work. Is he going to lose a second Reaper? One more shot would do it, and he does not lose it. He will eventually lose it, perhaps even to probes. <laughs> Murderous probes. Doesn't see the two gateways back there, and he scans the main and sees nothing. 
Oh, so he doesn't know that he's up against, uh, you know, the very tech light build. He has so much gas, Stork does. What is his plan here? He could take a third base and add a Twilight Council. Could make a ton of sentries with all that gas, too. That's, that's one way to look at this. I mean, that seems to be the logical choice considering that he's committed to this many gateways instead of tech. Yeah, but those those two gateways are pretty early here, and he's going to put on some pressure, to say the least. He has five Stalkers here, or rather six, with that uh, Mothership Core. Flash isn't exactly sure he's going to make a bunker here. He needs this up right now. Yeah, there's just not a lot of units out here for Flash. He does have those units now coming down the ramp, but a great time warp here, and very nice targeting by Stork. If he can prevent that bunker from going up, Flash could be in some trouble here. He stops it for now, and needs to walk back, though. Yeah, needs to micro that a little bit better. Did nice micro to start off, but he needs to... Uh, look at that, pulling all the weak ones back. Such nice micro out of Stork right now. He's warping in three more Stalkers right now. That was incredible micro out of Stork, and Stim is not done yet. That bunker will complete, it looks like, but it's very low, and he loses it right away. That's too many Stalkers here, Brandon. Stork in much. a great place here with just the one more warp and with three more Stalkers. Flash may just die. And he's about to have enough energy for another time warp here. Could he get it? Oh. He's got a back off here. He doesn't want to lose any stalkers, but Flash is going to have a hard time defeating this. And now he's, getting to work on that CC, he's going to have to pull SUVs. He's lost so many harvesters. This timing is just much faster than you would ever normally see a poke out. And it's it's something that Flash didn't take seriously. He was expecting some sort of other tech. There goes the time warp down on the ramp, targeting down the Marauders first. That's what the stalkers do bonus damage to. And then once they're eliminated, he can just kite the Marines back. Stim is done, but it doesn't look like it's going to matter here. It doesn't matter. Three more stalkers coming in. SCVs being pulled. There's just no units here. Stork, what an amazing game against Flash right now. It's going to force us to the ace match, Brendan. This is crazy. And. I guarantee you right now, KT is really regretting using action. Oh, yeah. I, that, I mean, that is for sure. I, I can't even believe how action feels right now. That reactor looks like it will be repaired by an SV that's hiding behind it. So he's going to keep that alive and get a little bit more SV, or rather, a little bit more marine production. Yeah. But I mean, there's no recovering from this. 50 yeah. harvesters to 18. He's just going to walk up the ramp. There's just not enough units here. He's going he's gonna to micro him back for now, but like. It doesn't really matter. He he's, could have just walked up the ramp, yeah. like you said. He's just playing it a little bit safer. I mean, he's got a Nexus. Flash is nothing. Flash has 19 workers. And all these stalkers are just so efficient. Blink is on the way, plus one to armor is on the way. Stim goes down. It's just too many units for Stork. Let me, well, GG, let me say this. Microing those stalkers like he did is not something that an ordinary Protoss that could do. That was incredible, man. When he, when he targeted, when he selected just the two ones that just had enough of their shields down and microed them back, that was when I was like, oh, what was that? So, so cool. Stork. Stork, Stork oh is on God. the rise, man. Stork is really, really on the rise. And what's this? What is he about to do? Put on a Darth Vader mask <laughs> <laughs> and get out of here. What is he doing? <laughs> oh, he gets the ruler out. He's, he makes it like a blaster from Star Wars. <laughs> How is what? A, what a, <laughs> oh my God! Well, that's Darth Vader without a lightsaber, man. He, he's got a blaster. Darth Vader with that's a like blaster. That's like when he when he takes Han Solo's blaster when he's in the Cloud City. <laughs> Oh, that's, that's basically what we just witnessed there. Flash got to be feeling a uh, tumble down. That was a weird timing. The micro was incredible. Flash did not have a bunker up. He played a little bit greedy. I think what Flash thought, because he scanned,